Hello and welcome to today's episode on the Sophie Sandwich. Today we'll be discussing natural selection, more so modern examples of natural selection. Natural selection is the process in nature by which, according to Darwin's theory of evolution, only the organisms best adapted to their environment tend to survive and transmit their genetic characteristics in increasing numbers to succeeding generations whereas those less adapted tend to be eliminated. Two, one. But how do organisms change? You asked. Natural selection can change a species in small ways, causing the population to change over several generations. This is called microevolution. Given enough time, natural selection can create entirely new species known as macroevolution. So what's a modern example of natural selection? <laughs> oh, well lucky you asked. The desert pocket mouse is a great organism to investigate in concerns to the alteration of one's phenotype to adapt to a specific environment. This tiny mouse is found throughout southwestern regions of the United States and northern per per portions of Mexico. Wow. Despite how cute they are, they have accumulated a handful of key predators, but most of all, the great horned owl. Due to this, being a nocturnal animal street simply is not enough, especially when their environment makes them stand out so easily. Starting about 1.7 million years ago, various volcanic eruptions changed the colour of the rock in the desert pocket masses habitat, putting sandy coloured mice at a various disadvantage and number, numbers depleted rapidly. But this is where natural selection came in. There was simply a random mutation within one of the mice changing its phenotype from its ancestral sandy colour and having a dark and changing to a dark pigmentation instead. This gene mutation led to a higher rate of survival for dark desert pocket mice to survive in its dark habitat rather than its sandy counterparts. In this new environment, high co light coloured mouse mice are at a disadvantage and any natural occurring, occurring dark coloured mice are better able to survive and breed. This sele selective advantage allows the dark coloured pocket my mouse variant to rapidly replace the existing population. But how does this phenomenon occur? Well, lucky you asked. Natural selection depends on the environment. It factors traits that are beneficial for an organism's survival and reproduction over their counterparts in a specific environment. Natural selection acts on existing heritable variation. For natural selection to act on a feature, there must be already variation for this feature to occur. Also, differences have to be heritable, determined by an organism's genes. So does natural selection only happen in animals? No, actually. In fact, it can happen in bacteria as well, as they also have DNA. One example of this is Staphylococcus aureus, a bacteria that harmlessly occurs on your body, but can cause dangerous infection if it enters your body through an opening in the skin. Commonly, they live around your nose, your armpits, genitals and are transmitted by skin-on-skin -skin contact and cases of poor hygiene, air and even food. This bacteria has been recognised since the 17th century but became widespread over the world including in Australia in the 1960s. Because they are living, golden staph bacteria have always been excessively treated by antibiotics and they worked until one day they didn't. Why? Well, like in the desert pocket mouse, during the reproduction of bacteria, which happens through mitosis, there was an error in the replication of DNA to RNA, which causes an incorrect gene called a mutation. Mutations in the DNA of a single Staphylococcus aureus allowed it to survive the antibiotics. We call this a resistant bacteria. Because that specific antibiotic couldn't kill this bacteria, it reproduced and spread rapidly. This is where the natural selection kicked in, allowing the organism with a genetic advantage to survive and reproduce. When it was recognised as resistant to the common cure, scientists quickly found a new antibiotic that killed this new bacteria. Not long after though, the same natural selection process happened and kept happening. Now Staphylococcus aureus is multi-drug resistant. In this video, we learned about what natural selection is, how it occurs, 
and modern examples of natural selection, the desert pocket mouse and Staphylococcus aureus. We hope you enjoyed.